Danger lurks for anyone trudging out onto the ice covering Lake Erie. Reports that someone broke through that ice brought sheriff's rescuers out to Evans this afternoon. News 4's George Rickard picks up the story from here. Yeah, this is the peak ice fishing season, and most of the lake is frozen, but changing winds can do some strange things off Sturgeon Point. Did you see any footprints around there? Obviously, we thought the worst initially. It was just before 3 in the afternoon. Captain Kevin Caffery was up in Air 1 doing a routine sundowner patrol on the lakeshore when he spotted this snowmobile partially submerged in the ice more than a half mile onto the lake from Sturgeon Point Marina. There was some ice fishing equipment left, but no obvious footprints walking away from it. At that point, it was unclear if the driver might have drowned. The helicopter camera rolled as his partner Art Litzinger got out onto the ice and checked the registration on the snowmobile. Eventually, we got a hold of the owner and he said, yeah, he did have a problem last night and left the snowmobile there overnight. The snowmobile owner plans to wait until it's colder next week to try and retrieve it. Just in the past three weeks, there have been four incidents of people or recreational vehicles breaking through the ice off Sturgeon Point. Two that we know of uh, went through on all-terrain vehicles, ATVs, and uh, there was a lot of people out there and they were pulled them off. And then a gentleman in his 70s uh, was walking along and he fell through the ice and luckily Someone saw his equipment laying on the ice and ran over and was able to throw him a rope and get him out. Even though the lake is almost entirely frozen, you can still clearly see a strip of open water not far from where this snowmobile went in. Most ice fishermen seem to know when to take the risk and when not to. You get a general idea, uh, you just look for slush. Where water meets snow, it turns into slush and you know you either try to go over it or you don't. All in all, local ice fishermen have been very lucky. Captain Caffery admits in all the years he's patrolled, he doesn't recall any ice fishermen actually drowning on our Lake Erie shoreline. Reporting live, George Rickert for the 10 o'clock news.